Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll see how to count a number of records that exist in the database table using count method. Well, count method is basically from crude repository interface and count method returns of type long. Okay, so whenever you have a requirement to count the number of records that are exist in the database table, then you can go ahead and use count method. All right. Let's head over to the IntelliJ idea and let's write a piece of code to see the usage of count method. Let me head over to the IntelliJ idea and here I'm going to quickly write the method. Let's say wide count method and then let's annotate this method with add test annotation. Okay, let's head over to the MySQL workbench and let's see how many records are there in a database table let me select rows from the products table and you can able to see there is only one record in the products table now let's go and let's call the count method over here and basically count method returns you know long type so declare here long and let's say count equal to product repository and it has a count method so let's go and let's call the count method over here and let's put one sys out to just print the count all right that's it let's go and let's run the test case and let's see how this count method works and how hibernate will create the sql statement behind the scene for this count method and there we go you can able to see test passed and let's see the result of this test case and you can able to see the count is one and here is the hibernate generated SQL statement. Select count star from products table. All right, so this is how the hibernate will create a SQL statement to count the number of records in the database table. All right, and if you go back to MySQL Workbench, you can able to see there is only one record in the database table, right? That's the reason the count is one. Well, let me insert a few more records and let's see how this count method you know works well i'm going to run this save all method to insert these two records okay so let me run this test case and we'll insert these two product entities into into the database table and let's see how this count method works okay let me go back to uh, my secure workbench and let me select the rows from the product table well you can able to see there are three records in the products table now all right now let's go and let's call the count method okay so let's run this test case and let's see how this count method works all right so look at here test pass line let's see the result of this test case and you can able to see count method returns you know three because there are three records in the database table all right so whenever you have a requirement to you know retrieve a number of records in the database table then you can go ahead and use count method all right great i will see you in the next lecture